let's continue doing an Ubuntu initial server setup. And in this video, we're going to create a new sudo user so that we don't have to use the root user in upcoming videos. In upcoming setup, we will not have to use the root user. To create a new user, you will just use that command. You can find the link to this post in the description. Add user and then that's the name of the user. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Let me just copy this because I really don't want to type. I will come back to git bash. I will call my user new user 21 enter and then you need to add a password for your new Ubuntu user. We're going to give them a strong password. Retype the password. Okay, so the password has been updated successfully. So I'm just going to press enter until I'm done with all of this. Y and then enter. Okay, so is the information correct? Yes. So let me just clear the screen once again. So once we've created the new user, the next step is for us to make that user into a sudo user. So we can give them sudo privileges. And to do that, we are just going to copy this. This is going to give them sudo privileges so that they can run the sudo command. If they need to do anything that the root user normally does, they'll just add sudo to it and they will be able to do whatever command that is. I'm going to paste in that. The user that we created was new user 21. I'll press enter and that's going to give them the sudo privileges. Let me open up a new git bash window and we're going to try and log in with our new user. I will open a new window of git bash. We can just do ssh that and now instead of logging in as root, let's log in as the new user. New user 21. So what we want to do is we want to test if this user actually has the sudo privileges. Enter the password that you set up for your user. There we go. We're logged in as the new user that we've set up. And that is, that is evident there. You can see we're logged in as that user. Now the next thing is let's try and see if we can use sudo. Now that we've given this user the sudo privileges, let's test if we can use sudo. So I'm just going to do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade dash y. So this is just to try and update the server. And if they can do this, then they can use sudo privileges in all the upcoming commands that we're going to do. So enter. The first time that you use the sudo command, you need to add a password for the user. So the password that you created for this user, add that. And there we go. Since I can see that this command is running without any problems, it means that we can use sudo to do everything that we need to do and we no longer need the root user. From now on, everything that you do, use this user that you created. For me, this is a user for you. It will definitely be different. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, let's see what you need to do. Now, the next step is for us to set up SSH. So I'm going to set up SSH authentication using Git Bash, and I'm going to use this part to do that. So I will see you in the next video when we get here.